Hey everybody, we're going to look at one awesome new feature of Logic Pro 10.3. This is probably the one that I'm most excited about, and that's the ability to modulate other plugins using some of the MIDI effects. So for instance, say I've got uh, the Retro Synth loaded here, and I want to uh, modulate the pitch, this knob right here, of Oscillator 2. <laughs> Uh, there's a few different ways we can do something like this, but let me show you how easy this is using the modulator MIDI plugin here. So we've got this loaded. Um, let's do this kind of like a sample and hold with randomization here. And then the output, the two modulation destination, we're going to learn plugin parameter. And then I'm going to click on the semitones, and you'll see now it's RetroSynth Oscillator 2 semitones and it is now doing it. Let's up the rate here to 16th notes. So that's a really classic synth type sound. But something else we can do here, which is uh, where it kind of gets really exciting, is I can add another modifier above it. So this is always going down. It's always going down. So the top one can modulate any of the ones below it in the chain here. So I've got this new one. And actually not, let's do modulator, not modifier. So we're going to choose from this menu, we're going to open up both of these modulators. And on this one, I'm going to choose a learn plugin parameter and we're going to do the similarity one. So now this one, this uh, modulator is modulating the similarity function on this modulator, which is then modifying the oscillator down there. Awesome! I love how complex we can start manipulating things between all of these different effects, creating complex layers of what they're doing. This is really cool and a really great addition. Okay, that's all I want to look at for this. We're going to do another one of these coming up either tonight or tomorrow, so stay tuned.